picked up some new coax jumpers and they have a very unique type of connection this bundle right here which i think it's three cables it might be four let's open it up and find out this bundle is sold as a set at abrindustries.com we're going to take a look at it right now Okay, huge shout out to ABR Industries. ABR Coax is made in the USA, made in Texas, actually, just outside of Houston, Texas. And they were at Orlando Hamcation 2024, which I just got back from yesterday, day before yesterday, something like that. And they have a new concoction that they've come up with that is a set of coax jumpers to go in between your radio and antenna or to jumper pretty much anything you want. Go from your radio maybe to a switch, really anything you want. So we're going to take a look at these new connectors today. They're right here. This is a... I think I want to probably take this off because I don't want these... Yeah, I'm going to cut those off. Those are kind of elastic. They, it, they came like this. They do sell these in a set. They're brand new. They're actually... They were not on the website until after Hamcation was over, but I emailed them this morning and they sent me the link to these cables on the website and they come with these various connectors. I'm gonna show you this, This, yeah, this three cables here. That right there, that right there. Okay, these are called FME connectors. Okay, so what we do is we have, if I can do this correctly, there we go, right there. We have this connector on the end of every piece of coax right here. So this is a threaded connector, and of course this right here is a BNC mail connector, so I can put the BNC mail back on here like that. This is a, a little little plastic uh, grommet type thing there. Push that in there. Hexagonal head here so you could use a little screwdriver, or I'm sorry, a little wrench on it if you wanted to. But then this one is not like BNC. Oh, I took that one off, I guess. This is an SMA female. So we've got BNC male to SMA female on this specific cable. We've got type N female to mini UHF male on that cable. And then we've got... SMA mail to type N mail on that cable. And I can take these off and switch them out however, however I want to. They also do have a PL259 and an SO239 for these. I got the PL259. It's inside somewhere. I did not get an SO239. They were out of those, but they donated these cables to me, and I appreciate them for doing that. Again, I will put a link in the description below and they are sponsoring this specific video right here. You can save a 10% discount on most everything on the ABR website with the coupon code of ABR10KC5HWB. ABR10KC5HWB. All No spaces or dashes or anything. Just ABR10KC5HWB. It'll get you 10% off. So these are really cool. What I wanted when I went up to the booth was I told them, I said, I want a jumper to go from SMA mail, which is going to be this one right here, to, you know what, in fact, I'm going to do that right now, to BNC, because I have, if I wanted to plug my Kenwood D75, which I had at uh, Hamcation this last weekend, if I wanted to plug my D75 into an Ed Fong J-Pole, which has, Ed Fong J-Poles actually come with multiple adapters, but one of the most common ones is this um, BNC right here. So if I wanted to plug in my D75 or my Waxon radio or my FT5 from Yezu, if I want to plug that in here and then plug that into an Fong J-Pole, I can switch these out and use this jumper to do that. And then I can set that aside and put that together. And then I can use this jumper to do something else. This is an SMA female there. And I'm just going to put my type in connector on here so that I don't lose it. But some of your UHF radios have a type in on the back, like uh, Connect Systems uh, CS800 had a type in on the back. I've seen some Kenwood radios with type in on the back. Type in isn't used a whole lot, but you, you, you might use it sometimes. And then um, Mini UHF, which is what this is, is used a lot in Motorola radios. So if you want to take a Motorola radio here and uh, put that on the back of a Motorola like an XPR 5550 or a 4550 or one of the XPR 900 series or some of the uh, Spectra radios. Most, uh, a lot of your XTS radios have this. I've been told all Motorola mobile radios have mini UHF. I, I think that maybe some of the older ones are something different. I don't re remember right now, but I know that many Motorola, Motorola mobile radios have the mini UHF. So you could plug this in and then take this one right here and put an SO239 on this end or a PO259 on this end and go straight from here 
and plug it into an antenna that way. So this is going to be a great add-on to the tackle box that I refer to as Kyle's tackle box. Kyle's tackle box that I built sometime last fall. And I carry it with me when I go to POTA, when I go to most, most POTAs or when I go down to Galveston. I'll carry it with me anytime I'm on a road trip where I'm driving to. I will carry that with me. So I'm going to put those in there, probably wrap them up with a, a Velcro strap right there and just kind of keep those with me wherever I go. That way I know where they are. And if I want to get on a plane, I can grab one out and configure it the way I want to take my Edfong antenna with me, take some other kind of J pole with me, plug it into my HT and have a little bit better range on my HT when I'm traveling somewhere. So this is a really cool setup from ABR Industries. Again, abrind.com is their website. Use the code of ABR10 KC5HWB for a 10% discount. They are made in the USA, made in Texas. Thank you to them for supporting this channel. And uh, you guys put a comment below. Let me know what you think about these things.